If you're imagining a war in the future, it'll involve all sorts of crazy science fiction-like technology, but it will also share uh, parallels with all the wars in the past because it will still have humans at the center in terms of the cause, and it'll also come with human cost. There's a certain kind of technology that goes by names like revolutionary, disruptive, game-changing, killer app. And basically it means technology that's changing how we think about the possibilities of what it can do, but it also introduces new questions about right and wrong. And if we look at the world around us, there's five categories of this kind of technology change playing out. The first is in hardware, where robots were once a thing of movies and TV shows, and now they're real. The US military, for example, has over 10,000 drones in the air, another 12,000 unmanned ground vehicles, and we're not the only player. At least 80 other nations have robotic systems in their military. The second category is changes in software, where artificial intelligence, big data, massive sensor collection, all of these shifts where it's essentially uh, reshaping that not just the human role, but what machines themselves can do. The third change you might think of as waveware. It's not just new energy sources, but it's energy used as a weapon itself. The idea of a laser was you know, science fiction. Now we have literally lasers deployed onto warships, warplanes, and oh, by the way, used to take out a prior category, drones. The fourth change is not so much about the tools themselves, but how they're made. This is direct digital manufacturing, 3D printing. And we've seen the creation of everything from iPhone covers with 3D printing to drones. We've seen people manufacture in their garage or in military bases in Afghanistan or even in the space station itself. And the final big shift that's out there is wetware. It's us. It's human performance modification. It's using technology that we now carry on our body, but also using technology inside our body to change what we can do ourselves. And that affects everything from our endurance levels to the kind of information that we consume. Think of it as Iron Man meets Captain America meets some of the illegal Olympic athlete drug programs. The challenge is all of these technology shifts are all coming together. So it's like the equivalent of having the changes of the printing press, the computer, the steam engine, the atomic bomb all playing out at the same time. They're creating a whole new kind of synergy that's fundamentally gonna change the world.